The first number today is 200. That's the number of people who, no, sorry. Hello, I'm Amara Jones, and today is Friday, May 15th. This is Caffeine TV, your daily news brief, here to take you through three headline numbers in just three minutes, giving you a different take on everything from housing policy to the real housewives. The first number today is 200. That's the final casualty count from the derailment of the Amtrak train in Philadelphia. That's far higher than when we last spoke about it earlier this week and includes eight dead. Now, it turns out that the train was traveling at twice the rate as it should have when it approached a curve in the track in Philadelphia, and at those speeds, there was no way that it wasn't going to derail. And of course, that then raises questions about the actions of the train's engineer, Brendan Bastian, to see what he might have done, but he has amnesia right now. However, data taken from the train itself shows that he tried to apply the brake. But the truth is that this entire incident could have been avoided. That's because Congress authorized a piece of technology, positive train control, which would have automatically slowed down the train. But as the New York Times lays out, Congress never fully funded that particular measure and wouldn't side with Amtrak to cut through the bureaucratic tape that it needed in order for it to be implemented. And so it remains switched off. And this just goes to show that when you don't spend money on infrastructure, you end up costing lives.